Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna install this light fixture. I'm gonna share 10 tips to install a light fixture at home. Here are the tools you'll need, a screwdriver, wire stripper, voltage detector, and a ladder. First things first, let's go ahead and open up the new light fixture and read the instructions. The good news is these packages typically come with everything you need except for the light bulbs. Here's tip number one, turn off the power. Go ahead and head to your breaker box, open it up, and then shut off the power for the room you are going to be utilizing. Here, you're going to start taking off your light fixture, which is tip number two. There is one screw, I took that off and the globe came right off. And now you see me removing the light bulbs. It's probably a good idea to have someone at home when you're working through this process so they can hand you tools and or you can hand them items such as the light bulbs. But right here you see me just throwing them on the couch. My husband is here but he is filming and we're just really having <laughs> regular conversations while I'm working through this process. What you see now is a bolt um, and a nut. And I'm gonna need to unscrew that, but the first thing that I thought is I really need to go ahead and put on my gloves, particularly because our hands will carry oils from our lotion and things of that nature. And I don't want that on the ceiling because ceilings have flat paint and I despise flat paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. I use some pliers, so you may want to use that if you have that um, at your disposal. And then from there, you're just unhooking that nut. And as you'll see in this next clip, there is a few more screws in the plate. So I'm simply just taking them off. As you can see, I'm literally unscrewing them with my hands. And then once I get them off, I'll be able to take the plate off like so. And then next up, we'll have tip number three, which is to remove the wires. When working with the wires, you're gonna have three wires, a ground wire, which is a copper wire that you see me tugging on now. And it is simply just wrapped around a screw. You'll then have a black wire and a white wire. What I am doing is taking the caps off so that I can disconnect these wires from the existing light fixture because we're going to reconnect the wires to our new light fixture. And here I am just continuing to unravel and disconnect the wires so that I can let the old light fixture free. All right, now we have the copper wire remaining, which is the ground wire. You're gonna wanna get your screwdriver like you see me doing and slightly unscrew the screw that is in the plate that the ground wire is wrapped around in a circular motion. And ta-da, we're done. Here I'm taking off the plate because you're going to get a new plate in your packaging. And if they're not the same, then you're gonna want to make sure you replace it. As you can see, the previous plate was more of a bar shape. This new plate is a circular pattern and I am just screwing that in, making sure that all of my wires are hanging through the center of that frame. Our next tip is going to be to connect all of the wires. All right, so my light fixture has a black wire that I am connecting to what looks like a white wire, but it is not. It actually has red on it. You know, depending upon your home, you may have a black wire that is coming through the ceiling hole. The black will go with the black. In my case, the black wire is going with the red wire. And all I'm doing now is taking the cap and I am screwing it tightly around both of those wires to connect them. And you'll wanna make sure once you have it tight to go ahead and tug on that. You're not gonna see this in the clip, but you want to tug on it to make sure that it is secure. You can even go a step further and wrap electrical tape around the cap to secure it. 
Now I am going in and connecting my white wires. Here's another tip. Before you even start this, if you want to feel very comfortable, you can use the voltage detector. I did not do that, which is why you don't see me utilizing it. But you definitely want to go ahead and do that if it makes you feel more comfortable. These white wires are going to be connected with a cap, just like the black. And you're gonna do the same thing, tug on them just to make sure everything is secure. And then lastly, what you did not see me do is connect the ground wire. The ground wire, remember, is that copper wire that is going to be screwed in a circular motion around a screw and then tightened. Alrighty, not so bad. So now we're just gonna hide the wires and go to our next step, which is to secure the light to the ceiling. I will not lie to you all, this was the most difficult part for me because at this point, this light fixture is heavy because I've been holding it for quite a bit. And for some reason, I could not align the bolts with the holes in the base of the light fixture. You see me, I'm putting my head down, I'm praying to God, I'm asking for help, I'm asking for strength. And then my prayers were answered. So once I was able to get them through the holes, I said, okay, you know what? Let me just go ahead and take off one of my gloves because I want to make sure that I can screw this nut around the bolt and that will ensure that number one, I'm not holding this light fixture again <laughs> or any longer. So that's exactly what I did. Once I got one in, I left it there, took my other glove off and then I took the nut and screwed the other side. This is when I felt the happiest because I was really getting frustrated, I won't lie. I felt like that may have taken me a good five minutes. I had my husband to go ahead and pass me some cleaner, um, some mirror cleaner. And then our next step is to add the light bulbs. I am using LED light bulbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that a lot of times LED light bulbs will flicker. And if that is the case, you wanna take one of them out and put them into a lamp and see if it still, it still flickers. And if it does, you know it's a bad LED light bulb. They arrive bad. So you might want to buy two boxes. In this situation, we had to go back to the store because one of them did do just that um, and then once we went back to the store we were good to go but you want to go ahead and add your light bulbs I am putting my gloves back on because I need to put in some glass panels for this light fixture so I want to be careful and make as few fingerprints as possible and then once I have them all in, I can go ahead and move to the next step, which is going to be to clean your light fixture for the very last time. And as you can see, I felt so accomplished. The last step is to turn the power back on. And as you can see, we are cooking with grease. You guys, please go ahead and click the playlist and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.